Hello everyone, welcome to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that the United States imports over 3.8 billion pounds of coffee every year? That's right. Even though the US can't grow coffee on a large scale due to its climate, it remains the world's number one coffee market, where millions of flavorful cups kick off each day. The journey of coffee beans begins in tropical regions, with ideal climates, where coffee plants thrive under warm sunshine and nutrient-rich soil. These coffee beans are carefully selected and processed by skilled farmers, with the help of modern machinery, to ensure that each bean meets the highest quality standards before it's turned into the familiar cup of coffee in your hands. Join us as we explore the amazing journey of coffee beans and uncover what makes them so irresistibly special. Let's get started. Each year, the United States spends over $8 billion importing coffee from tropical regions across the globe. But what makes these small beans known as the black gold of agriculture? Coffee is a perennial plant that takes about three to five years to mature and start flowering. Its delicate white blossoms with a sweet fragrance only bloom for a few fleeting days before transforming into plump coffee cherries. After approximately six to nine months, when about 95% of the cherries turn bright red and only 5% remain green, farmers begin the harvest season. Thanks to the support of modern machinery, harvesting has become faster and more efficient, significantly reducing labor demands while still ensuring the quality of each coffee bean. During the dry season across vast coffee fields, you'll witness a seamless blend of nature and modern technology. The most advanced coffee harvesting machines glide through rows of coffee plants like diligent giants, performing their tasks with rhythm and precision. These machines are equipped with a specialized vibrating rod system featuring up to 1,500 rods that create just the right amount of vibration to shake ripe coffee cherries from the branches without damaging the tree or unripe fruit. The fallen cherries are collected by soft catchment mats, minimizing contamination or bruising. From there, the cherries move along an automated conveyor belt, where smart air blowers remove leaves, small branches, and other debris, leaving only clean, high-quality coffee cherries ready for the next stage. This closed-loop process ends with an automated transport system that moves the coffee into large containers on the accompanying trailers, ready for the next stage of processing. With a capacity of up to 12,000 pounds of coffee per hour, these machines replace the manual labor of over 100 workers, saving both time and significant costs. What's even more impressive is that this technology allows coffee plants to be cleared sooner, giving them extra time to recover and prepare for the next harvest season. This boosts both long-term productivity and quality. It's not just a solution to labor challenges, it's a step toward a more sustainable future for the global coffee industry. Alongside the use of modern machinery, hand-picking coffee remains a common practice in areas with steep terrain or when harvesting premium coffee. Farmers carefully pluck each ripe cherry directly from the branches, ensuring optimal quality. This process is often repeated in multiple rounds, allowing only fully ripe cherries to be collected 
while leaving the green ones to mature. The harvested cherries are gently placed into baskets and then transported to the processing area. Although this method is time-consuming and labor-intensive, it protects the coffee plants and minimizes damage to the cherries. Hand harvesting helps preserve the natural flavor and ensures the highest quality of the coffee. This meticulous approach is essential for producing specialty coffee, which is highly regarded worldwide. This manual technique not only reflects the dedication and precision of the farmers, but also plays a crucial role in maintaining the exceptional quality of specialty coffee, a source of pride for coffee growers and renowned coffee producing regions around the globe. After being harvested, ripe coffee cherries are loaded into large trucks, each capable of carrying up to 20,000 pounds of coffee. These trucks ensure quick and efficient transportation to the processing area, keeping the coffee cherries fresh and ready for the next stages of handling. When the trucks arrive at the processing area, the journey to transform the cherries into high-quality coffee beans begins. This meticulous and detailed process combines traditional expertise with modern technology, ensuring that every coffee bean meets the highest standards before it reaches the consumer's cup. The processing journey begins with sorting the coffee cherries using water. The cherries are poured into large water tanks where they are separated based on their density. Ripe and high-quality cherries sink to the bottom of the tank, while unripe, hollow, or lower-quality ones float to the top and are removed. This step ensures that only the best cherries move on to the next stage of processing. In some places, farmers use the dry processing method. After sorting the coffee cherries, they dry them directly under the sun for about 7 to 14 days. Once the cherries are properly dried, they are taken to be hulled, where the outer layers are removed to reveal the coffee beans inside. Machines use rotating drums and pressure plates to strip away the fruit pulp and outer skin, leaving only the coffee beans intact. The discarded pulp and skin are often reused as natural fertilizer, enriching the soil for future coffee crops. Even after hulling, the coffee beans are still covered in a natural sticky layer called mucilage. This mucilage is removed through a natural fermentation process in tanks. The fermentation time varies depending on the surrounding temperature, with the ideal range being 64 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the mucilage breaks down, the beans are thoroughly washed with water to remove all remaining residue, ensuring they are clean and ready for the drying stage. Drying is a critical step in coffee processing, as it reduces the moisture content of the beans to the ideal range of 10 to 12 percent, making them suitable for long-term storage without the risk of mold. Sun drying is a traditional method where beans are spread evenly on flat surfaces like patios or drying beds. They are turned two to three times per hour over seven to 14 days, depending on the weather. This method preserves the natural flavor of the beans, but is highly weather dependent. Machine drying, on the other hand, is used in modern processing facilities. The beans are dried at controlled temperatures between 104 to 140 degrees Tews for 24 to 48 hours, ensuring quicker and more uniform drying. This method guarantees consistent quality while reducing dependency on weather conditions. Once the coffee beans are dried to the ideal moisture level, they are sent to hulling machines to remove the thin parchment layer that protected the beans during drying. After hulling, the beans are carefully sorted, 
Screens are used to separate the beans by size, large, small, or uniform. Heavier beans with higher density are usually considered of better quality and are selected. Additionally, advanced laser scanning technology is employed to detect and remove any beans with surface defects or that fail to meet color standards. After being processed and packed, green coffee beans are transported to the United States primarily by sea, which is an economical and efficient method. The coffee is stored in specialized containers, each capable of holding approximately 44,000 to 55,000 pounds of green coffee beans. Massive cargo ships with capacities of up to 44 million pounds carry thousands of tons of coffee across the ocean to the U.S. During the week's long journey, the containers are kept under strict temperature and humidity control to ensure the beans maintain their quality and flavor. Once the coffee arrives in the U.S., it is sent to processing facilities where the crucial step of roasting determines the final flavor of the beans. During this process, green coffee beans are placed into roasting machines where the temperature is carefully controlled between 356 to 464 degrees, depending on the desired roast level. After roasting, the beans may either be left whole or ground into fine powder to meet market demands. Ground coffee is typically packed in airtight bags with one-way valves, preserving its fresh aroma and flavor, ready to be enjoyed by consumers. The journey of coffee beans takes us from tropical fields to the tables of millions of Americans. Every year the U.S. imports billions of pounds of coffee, fueling mornings with rich espresso and refreshing afternoons with iced coffee. Coffee is more than just a drink. It's a story of the connection between modern technology and the hard work of farmers worldwide. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating stories.